Welcome back. We've been talking about Dataverse security for the past few days, past few videos. And here's where we are in our agenda. We've already talked about what to do when you're getting started. We've talked about security roles, business units, and teams. And now we're in the home stretch with additional security and other stuff. So in additional security, I want to talk about some other things related to security that you should be aware of or additional security that we can add in. We'll get started with field level security or column level security. So it's called column level security um, in your solution explorer in the maker portal, but when you open it up, it still says field level security. This means the same thing. What this is, is that you can lock down specific columns. So if you refer back to our where do I start video, we talked about security by obscurity and how that's not security, right? So let's say I have my social security number on my contact and I don't want certain users to be able to view it. I have the option to have separate forms. Let's say our limited users have a limited user form that doesn't have the social security number on it. That's great, but they could still see that through advanced find, right? And so that's a problem where they could potentially have access to data that you might not want them to have access to. So that would be an opportunity to look at field level security or column level security. You could set it up so that they don't have read access. You can also change it. Maybe there's some users who can read it, but they can't change it. Um, there might be something, again, like if we're talking about social security number, you might have people who are creating new accounts. They need to be able to enter and create that data and update it, but then an assistant viewing that data just needs to see it and shouldn't be able to make that change. So you can use do all of that with this security. Keep in mind that your system administrators are always going to have full access to all of the columns. There is a field security profile that all system administrators are added to, so there's never a chance where your system admin will be missing any of that access. Just keep in mind that you do want to be careful, right? You want to use this for things that legitimately no one should be able to access, no one should be able to see, things like that. Because if you use this too frequently, then it could potentially become a performance issue. That's because that form gets opened up and then we're checking, do they have access to this field, this field, this field, right? There's a lot of things that need to happen there. So just be careful and make sure you're watching out for that. As we kind of briefly mentioned, you do have the ability to control who has access to which forms. So when you're creating a new account form, let's say we have one for our marketing department and one for our sales department, we could set up those forms to have different roles assigned to them. So I would have to have, in this case, the account manager role to access this form. That means that the data is still accessible through advanced find. This is just determining how it shows up on that form, how they can see it when they click and open that record. This is also related to the form order, right? So I can configure multiple forms, say for my ex account in this example. And if I have those multiple forms, I can choose what order they fall into and what is the fallback form, meaning if they have no access to any of these forms, which form do they see? So I do have to be a little bit careful with that because if I have users who have access to multiple forms, I need to make sure they know which one to access and that the one that comes up for them by default is the one that's most used, right? So there are some things that I can think about and test in there. We also have security on our model-driven app, right? So once I've created my model-driven app, I can choose which security roles have access to it. So this is another way to divide up your data. You could have different apps that have different tables included in it, and then users would have access to just the tables within that app. Although keep in mind, like we've been saying, there are things that they could probably see through advanced find or something like that, that might not be explicitly included in the app. So you still wanna be careful with your security roles. Also keep in mind that just because a table has been added to the app, that does not mean users have access to it, right? So if I have a security role that I've added to my salesperson app, sales hub app, say, and I add someone 
to that security role, just because that security role has access to the app doesn't mean they're going to see everything, right? Their security role still needs access to all the particular components within the app. Also, let's quickly mention business process flows because they're a little bit different, they're a little bit weird, and they work differently than the forms and things like that that we just talked about. So your business process flows are controlled as part of that security role. So there's a tab on your security role for the business process flows, and it lists out all the business process flows in your system, and you can grant access to that. So just make sure you're aware of that and you're looking at it and you're testing these and testing these things as your standard user with your base security role or however your security is set up for your users. Make sure you're testing your business process flow like that because your users need access to not just the business process flow, but any of the tables involved. They need access to update the fields. If there's, you know, any column level security, field level security, just be aware and make sure you're testing that. Okay, so that's all for this video. We have one video left in this series to cover some other stuff related to security. I hope this was helpful. Make sure you include any comments that you have on other questions that you want answered about security.